Welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda Marie. If you're new to my channel, then thank you so much for stopping by. If you are already a part of the Amanda Marie family, then welcome back. Thank you so much for coming over and watching one of my videos. You guys, I tell you all the time, your support means the world to me and I just want to say thank you so much. So I did change the name of my channel, okay? It was Mandy Glam and I changed it to Amanda Marie. So I'm using my first name and I'm using my middle name. So the reason for the change is because when I first started my YouTube channel, I really wanted to focus on makeup and things like that. And so I picked Mandy Glam as my name, but here we are almost two years into to me actually dedicating time to my channel it has definitely become a fragrance channel okay there's no doubt about that so I was like you know what I think I'm just gonna change the name and something more suitable for my channel I do product reviews and other things like that that are not makeup related so I just wanted to drop the whole Mandy Glam name and just I don't know, be a little bit more professional, okay? A little bit more grown up. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will also see that it is the Amanda Marie, just like my YouTube channel, okay? Different name, same person, I promise you. So as you read in the title, I'm gonna be running down five of my favorite vanillic fragrances, okay? These fragrances just ooze vanilla to me. There's no way you can miss the vanilla in these fragrances. So what I've come to notice um, since I've been doing these fragrance reviews is a lot of fragrances carry a vanilla note. Rarely do I run across a fragrance that doesn't have vanilla in it, okay? For the most part, I see vanilla in almost every fragrance. Even if it's in the middle note, um, more than likely it's always in the base, but there's always a vanilla component to the fragrance. So when vanilla is added to fragrances, to me, it gives the fragrance a sweet note, a sweet smell, very distinctive. It can also make the fragrance like creamy and soft and edible and just very delightful, okay? Um, from my understanding, when there's vanilla in the fragrance, it just has a tendency to last longer. But you guys know I've always said this, fragrances do have an expiration date, okay? Especially if you're not taking care of them, they should be kept in like a cool area. Um, you should not have your fragrances in your bathroom when you're taking steamy showers and stuff like that because heat can ruin the fragrance. So if you have a, a fragrance that has vanilla in the fragrance, over time you may see the fragrance kind of change colors to like a dark color or a dark brown, ambery looking shade. It doesn't mean that the fragrance is getting old. The vanilla in the fragrance changes the color of the fragrance. So okay. let's get into this video. Um, if you are interested to see what my favorite vanilla fragrances are, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with one that I've had in my collection now for over a year. Uh, this fragrance hit the scene probably early 2020, probably before that, 2019. But it, from, in my opinion, it became very popular towards like the end of 2019 and 2020. This is Amo Fer by Ferragamo. Okay, you guys can see that. This fragrance does come off just like an orange creamsicle. Um, immediately at first blast, you smell that orange creamsicle note, and it smells so good. To be honest with you guys, the orange only lasts for maybe about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes on my skin, and then once this fragrance has kind of dried down, I get this lovely, sweet, enticing vanilla smell that I love so much. I actually love the vanilla smell more than I love the orange smell, believe it or not. I want to give you guys some other notes in this fragrance. Now what gives it that orange smell is called Camprey. That's in the top note of this fragrance. There's also blackcurrant and rosemary. In the base, you get rhubarb, you get jasmine sandbag, and something called matte, which looks like 
maybe some seeds to me or something like that. In the base, you get Tahitian vanilla, Ambroxan, and sandalwood. That's another thing I found out um, now that I've been researching fragrances is there's more than one type of vanilla. There's like a bourbon vanilla. There's like a Tahitian vanilla. Um, I, and my nose is not that specific where I can pick up on the various types of vanilla, but I can tell it is a vanilla. Okay. To me, this fragrance is definitely a gourmand fragrance in my opinion. It's just very sweet, very edible, very soft, very feminine. If you are into sweet fragrances, you will definitely love this fragrance. I did pick this fragrance up at uh, TJ Maxx, so I don't see it very often in TJ Maxx anymore, probably because it became so popular on YouTube and everybody was buying it up. I know there is another flanker to this fragrance, which I haven't smelled yet, but this is the original Amo Ferragamo. Okay. This fragrance has been talked about, and you know what? It's well worth the hype, real talk. This is La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And in this fragrance, there's said to be three notes, okay? Pear, vetiver, and vanilla. Now to me, the vanilla in this fragrance dries down to something like a jam, okay? It just gives me like a, a jelly, like a jam smell in the dry down. It is definitely a beautiful fragrance for sure. Oh, so good. I definitely feel like this fragrance has more notes in it than just three. It's hard to imagine that this fragrance only has three notes. It is just so pretty. You guys, when this fragrance dries down on me, it dries down to something like a jam, like a jelly. Uh, not like the Amo Ferragamo. That one is more creamier, sweet. This one is more bright. This one is more sparkly. It has more of a, a freshness to it, like a pop, and that's a pear. That pear is very juicy to me. Um, and it's, it's good, it's like a fresh pear. Like you ever been into a pear and it's just so juicy, like the juice is just running down your face. That's what this fragrance smells like to me. I do get a long wear with this fragrance, probably like six to seven hours. And by the end of the day, mostly what I smell is the vanilla. I, do, I don't get a lot of the vetiver, but every now and again, I get little whiffs of something spicy. Now, vetiver can come off very earthy. This is a very delicious fragrance, totally edible, just it's just really, really good. Okay, so here's something very interesting, okay? I am on the Fragrantica website and I just wanted to kind of go over the notes and see what it was saying. And here on Fragrantica, it's saying that pear is in the top, bergamot is also in the top now, in the middle is floral notes and leather, and then in the base is vanilla, vetiver, amber, and musk. So, I don't know when they updated this, but yeah, looks like there is now more than three notes in this fragrance, which, I mean, like I said, makes total sense to me, right? So this one is a new one to my collection, and I have been contemplating and contemplating and going back and forth with myself. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know I do that all the time. I'm like, do you really want it? Do you really need it? You know, but I fell in love with it. I actually had a dupe of the fragrance from the um, from Dossier, and it was called Powdery Hawthorne. And I fell in love with it. I would wear it to work every day. It would. It just became a very easy grab for me. Nothing to think about. And I said, Yeah, you know what? I want the real deal in my collection, and I have it now. This is Tom Ford's Metalik. All right, I don't know if you guys can see the reflection. The bottle is so gorgeous. I love this bottle. The gold and the silver together. Uh, if you guys know, y'all know back in the day before I changed my setup, I had silver and gold decorations. So this is right up my alley. A lot of my jewelry is a silver and gold combination. So I love that. 
I love the look of this bottle, okay? I know there's a lot of you that don't care for this fragrance, but I think this fragrance is so unique. And there are several notes in this fragrance, but for sure, for sure, the one that stands out the most to me is the vanilla. Now this fragrance does have a metal uh, note in the top. You get that at first spray. There's no denying that there is a metal smell to this fragrance. Um, a metallic, if you will, smell to this fragrance. A lot of people say that it reminds them of iron, okay? Uh, uh, some people have said it kind of reminds them of something like blood because you know there's iron and blood right in this. I don't get that. My nose does not get that. I do get the metal. I do get the I do get that metal smell in the beginning. Not so much as an iron smell, but more as a metallic type of smell. All I get is whiffs of sweet vanilla all day long. It is one of the most unique vanillic smells that I've ever smelled, okay? Okay, so in the top in this fragrance, you get uh, aldehydes, which I feel like is giving it that metallic smell. You also get pink pepper in the top, bergamot. In the middle, you get heliotrope, hawthorn, lily of the valley. In the base, you get vanilla, amberette. You get uh, peru, balsam, and sandalwood. To me, you guys, what I get all day long is that vanilla smell. And it's done so well in this fragrance. I will tell you that the vanilla does not come off um, extremely sweet, but it is sweet. And it's not creamy. It's more of a cold, industrial, metal vanilla. Which, those three things wouldn't seem like they would come together and make something so nice, right? It's, they seem very odd and very unusual to be paired together. But I just have to say, Tom Ford did it when he did this one. He did it to me. It's it's a very unique vanilla. It's not like your, it's not like my usual vanilla fragrances that I have here in my collection. But it's, it's still giving me vanilla, and that's what I like. Okay, so this next fragrance is from the house of Givenchy, and this is actually a fragrance targeted for men, but I don't care. The vanilla in this fragrance, you guys, is exquisite, okay? This is Pie by Givenchy. It's been around for years. I want to say this fragrance came out probably in... 1998 okay so it's been around for a very very long time but the vanilla in this fragrance is undeniable it is just a beautiful vanillic fragrance and i do enjoy the masculine touch to this vanilla you guys probably knew i wouldn't y'all wasn't gonna slide through this video without seeing a fragrance that's targeted for men because you know i love to play in men's fragrances i love playing in fragrances period so i do kind of shop around on the men's side from time to time to see what's going on i've always done that in my opinion this fragrance definitely comes off very unisex I think it leans more on the masculine side of it, but in my eyes, this is a unisex fragrance. A woman can pull this fragrance off easily, especially in the wintertime. This is a very cozy, comforting vanilla fragrance to me, okay? So in the top in this fragrance, you get mandarin orange, tarragon, rosemary, and basil. In the middle, you get anise, neroli, uh, geranium, lily of the valley, and the base you get vanilla, almond, tonka, benzoin, and cedar. This is definitely a fragrance that I would wear in the wintertime. It's just so cozy when it's cold outside and I'm sipping on my hot chocolate, I'm sitting by the fireplace, you know, I got my throw, and I'm just enjoying the heat and feeling warm and comforted and cozy. That's what this fragrance gives me. 
which one of these vanilla fragrances give me something different that's why i picked them they all even though they have vanilla in them they all come off very different for me this is my comforting vanilla fragrance all right so this next one is from the house of killian i will just abbreviate the name it is i don't need a prince okay and this is what the bottle looks like it has the killian name here on the ball and then it has this and it lifts up like that okay the fragrance is here this is my marshmallow vanilla fragrance and i recently added this to my collection probably two or three months ago and i'm so happy that i did it doesn't disappoint it is just a very another comforting vanillic scent i love it i love the marshmallow i love the ginger i love the sandalwood let me just make sure that is sandalwood in the base that i'm smelling so in the top you get lemon i do smell a little bit of lemon in the top but it's not overpowering it's not a lot okay in the middle you get green tea ginger peach hideon hideon i guess that's how you pronounce it jasmine and apple in the base you get marshmallow vanilla and benzoin and yeah it's just a very comforting fragrance i, I have slept in this fragrance before and i actually enjoyed sleeping in it i don't usually sleep in fragrances when i shower and go to bed that's it i don't spray anything but i definitely enjoyed sleeping in this fragrance this again is another uh, comforting vanilla to me it just uh it's something that i could see myself like grabbing wearing every day it's totally easy nothing to like think about or overthink it or overdo it that marshmallow is just it just reminds me of when i used to eat those big fluffy marshmallows when i was a kid i would just buy a bag of it it just eat them you know and i, I put marshmallows in my hot chocolate that is what this reminds me of so it's very uh nostalgic for me you know, i should um, mention that i think it's being discontinued I like to tell people that just in case you guys start trying to look for it and buy it and you can't find it. That's why, girl, because it's discontinued. Okay, so here is my honorable mention. This is more of a body spray. This is Brazilian Crush uh, Sheriosa 71. All right, this is by So Janeiro. And this is good. Now, this is a caramelized vanilla imagine roasting macadamia nuts okay with vanilla roasting them and letting that sh and putting sugar in it and letting that sugar just bubble up and caramelize and have this coat on the macadamia nuts that is what this fragrance smells like smells so good now i definitely sleep in this fragrance i definitely um spray this fragrance on before i go to work just like a body mist or whatever so the notes are on the back of the bottle it says in the top you get caramelized vanilla sea salt toasted macadamia nuts and the dry down you get tonka bean and coconut blossom this is good this is good it goes real nice with my bum bum cream that i have from the same company sol janeiro so if you can get your hands on this one, I would highly recommend it. Excellent for this time of the year. If you're gonna be outside, I think this will be, you might attract some flies <laughs> or some bees or something like that because this is super, super sweet. So I just wanna let y'all know that this comes off highly sweet. Sweeter than, oh my God, I dare say, sweeter than anything that I have on this table in front of me, okay? All right, you guys, those were my top vanilla fragrances. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite vanilla fragrances are and what I should get my nose on or add to my collection. If you have any of these fragrances that I mentioned in the video, comment and let me know what you think about them. I love interacting with you in the comment section. Y'all already know that, okay? Hit the thumbs up button. It lets me know that you enjoy my content, you enjoy my videos. 
I get excited, I get creative. So yeah, hit the thumbs up button, okay? If you are into fragrances, new to fragrances, you wanna maybe update your fragrance collection, you just love smelling good, I would love it if you would join the Amanda Marie family. Over here, again, we talk about fragrances, all things fragrances. So hit that subscribe button. Hit the little gray bell at the top. That way you will be notified every time I upload a video and you don't miss out. I hope you guys have a fabulous day, weekend, month, year, whatever the case may be. I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.